What is going on everyone? This is Nero again and today for you, some search and destroy gameplay, this time on the map of car, this time using the MP7 with a silencer and rapid fire, and this time going 15 and 2, 15 and 2. <laughs> I almost forgot actually the final score of my own game, which I check always check right before the game, but I always, or right before the commentary rather, but I always end up forgetting somehow, always end up slurring my words, always end up messing up somehow in some way. But uh, this is a pretty good game. I wasn't going to discuss gameplay. I wasn't going to uh, discuss how to do well on Makar and things like that. But if you watch my gameplay, you'll get an idea of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. So if you can just look for the salties and what I do, you guys will definitely uh, learn a thing or two. Hopefully. But uh, what I actually want to discuss today was uh, Willie's Gamer Tag versus obviously Jesus. So I get up on Twitter last night. And uh, Buell's like, I need to go check out Twitter. Apparently, Woody's getting into a fight. And which, by the way, Woody, I am completely familiar with Woody. I mean, I've been watching his videos off and on that for better part almost a year now, I guess. Not, I don't know, man. I've been watching him for a while, so I am familiar with him. I'm familiar with his work. I'm familiar with what he's doing. Uh, obviously, Jesus, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna be around the bush. I'm not gonna pretend to be more more knowledgeable than I am. I have no idea who the fuck this guy is. I have no idea, no clue at all. And you know, however, but I, I will say his, his name is fucking stupid. Obviously, Jesus is the stupidest gamer tag, stupidest name, stupidest YouTube channel name I have ever heard. <laughs> it was just I mean, I mean, I'm not trying to bash religion. I believe there is a God. You know, I'm pre pre or, uh, more specifically, I'm a Christian, so I believe there was Jesus as well. But I'm not trying to start a religious debate. But I'm just saying his name is obviously Jesus. What kind of stupid name is that? So man, then he then he, then he always has these things on his channel it's like God is dead, but Jesus is coming or something like <laughs> just ignorant ass shit which, which which right off the bat just basically points him out as an asshole but uh what basically has transpired throughout last night which apparently has been going on for months which i don't uh i don't pay that much close attention to you know uh, other gamers and their personal lives and their personal conflictions and affairs but apparently uh obviously jesus has been attacking basically every person every member of woody's family over the past couple months and most notably uh woody's son who uh, has autism. And growing up, well, okay, it's kind of hard to explain, but growing up I had a best friend that I moved away, that I moved back, and then he was still there, and we became best friends again. I got throughout middle school. And uh, his little brother, who you know, wasn't born the first time I knew him, but when I moved back here, uh, his little brother was born, and his brother had autism. And so I watched you know, how a person struggles with autism day in and day out, because I was there all the time. And to make fun of someone for that, which autism is something completely, you know, it's not something, it's not like a disease. It's, you know, you're born with it. You know, you can't, there's no avoiding it. It's not like, I don't know, like to make fun of someone for something that's completely out of their control that affects their lives and the lives of their entire family that much. To make fun of that. To make, ha, 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 you have autism. Nah, 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 nah. That's like the most ignorant thing you could ever do to somebody. Especially when it's someone's son. Someone they obviously they care about so much. Like, uh, that's by far just the most ignorant thing in the world. So, Woody does what any normal human being would do. And he decides that, you know what? I'm going to fight this guy at PAX. I'm gonna, cause that's, next, that's the only time he's going to be able to see him. He wants to fight him. And, uh... The reason I don't think there's actually going to be a fight, though, I mean, I, I, sadly, as I wish to, I would like to see one, I don't think there's a fight, because it's more like a whole high school, middle school situation, where it's, okay, we're fighting here, after school, then you go tell, you know, okay, the whole fight's established, right, then you go tell your best friend, hey, I'm fighting this guy after school, you should come, uh, but don't tell anyone, and then he goes tells his buddy, hey, I'm fighting this guy after school, you can come, don't tell anyone, then they tell their best friends. And their best friends told their best friends. Until eventually the whole damn school knows, the faculty knows, the police end up getting notified, and by the time you walk to this, you know, meeting point outside the school, the police come and break it up. I mean, that happened to me hundreds, not hundreds, but, you know, tons of times uh, throughout high school. Every time, every time there was a fight and I went to go watch a fight or I was a part of a fight, I ended up getting broken up pretty frequently. Only like one or two actually didn't uh, get broken up. So... And that's basically what would happen at PAX. Like, people are going to be following Woody. People are going to be following... Uh, obviously Jesus, it's it's gonna become this whole thing. But then the whole notion came last night as well about an octagon. Joe Willow's on an octagon, and uh, Woody versus obviously Jesus, basically in a grappling match against each other, which is which would be you know illegal, which would be legal, which you know if they were to actually do a fight, uh, it would be illegal. I mean, you're just hitting someone that's an assault charge. If they hit back, then it's a fight. Then you can both go to jail. So a fight might not work that well, but you know the. Apparently, they might be Joe Lowe's on Octagon. Anyone? I don't know. So, there's a lot of different things transpiring, but the way I see it, with how much love this whole community has for Woody, and 
you know, the superior ignorance of what this obviously Jesus guy has done because he's obviously just doing it for views. Which, which, if you guys don't, don't anyone who's thinking of going to his channel, do not go to obviously Jesus's channel and and you know talk shit to him there. Go to his Twitter and talk shit to him. If you go to his channel, he's getting views for every idiot that goes to his channel. So don't go there. But what's gonna happen at PAX? Think about this. Everyone's gonna be looking for both of these. Two. Everyone's gonna be expecting this fight to go down, right? And regardless of what happens with Woody, regardless of what happens in the ring, someone's gonna fucking hit this guy, right? I'd do it if I were there. I'd take the fall for Woody. I don't have as far as I don't have as far as the drop, guys. I would take, I'd take the punch and I'd take the night in jail for Woody. I'd take it, you know. But I, I might be able to because I'm not going to packs. I can't afford to get a packs. You serious? I'm sitting here at three thousand subs. I mean, you know, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's not a big deal. But someone there is gonna do it. Someone else is gonna do it there. Think about this. I mean, no one's gonna let him walk around. Hey, I'm obviously Jesus. Sub to me on YouTube. Ho, oh, no hurt feelings. What do you know? He's gonna get hit. Somebody is going to fucking clock this guy at PAX, and I'm hoping to God that someone gets it on tape. But that's my thoughts on the subject. What are you guys' thoughts on the subject? Uh, if you could go ahead and rate the video and leave your uh, thoughts in the comment section below, it'd be much appreciated. Very interested to read that, and hope you guys all have a wonderful day.